let's light our evening autumn candle and begin a reading. Hmm. Let's see what Spirit Guide has for us. I may split this up into little parts for YouTube and for Reels and TikToks just to let you know. So I'll have little bits just for you, but you can get the full one here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to delicately just push this candle a little bit that way. Delightful. Delightful. Mm. I have this nice glass skin texture from my egg wash facial last night. I also do homemade skincare and remedies and herbalism here. So, you know, if you're into that, just let me know, you know. We shall uncleef the deck. Uncleef. It has been cleansed. It has been rid of any unholy, I don't know. I'm a witch. I can't say holy, can I? Well, there's no evil spirits. The truth will be told, and that can be guaranteed. So let's go ahead and draw a card. And take a deep breath in. Ground myself. Deep breath in. Ground myself. All right, I'm sensing Libra, Taurus, and Gemini energy coming through. So I have a feeling a lot of earth and air signs. I have a feeling it's or something having to do with hobbyists and hobbyists and self-care is happening right now. I see, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. I think it's time to look back at a wealth of experiences and pass down the knowledge to a new generation. You've lived and prospered. Now it is time to enjoy everything that you have. You probably worked really hard to get to where you are right now. I want you to think about how grateful and how all the things that you are grateful for. Think of the gratitude because you have so many things, wealth of experience and knowledge that the talents that people would want to see you for. I have the four of pentacles. Obviously, there's someone here, I think, Taurus, that's very, very much so uh, protective over their assets. Uh, I think also not just financially, but also spiritually as well. They're very protective of your energy, and sadly, sometimes this keeps you from growing and having fun. Sometimes you need to spend money to make money. Sorry. Um, ooh, the blind leading the deaf. Okay. I have a feeling that for someone like Gemini, it's hard times right now. You've probably survived go falling on hard times. And now this is the evening where you become fruitful and prosperable. This is the autumn fall where all of your manifestations come true and it is going to come. Your now season of abundance, expecting the harvest, it will come and you may eat and be thankful for all the good things that you have. Because once you are thankful, you become fruitful. All right, we have the Four of Wands reversed. I have a feeling that there's a sense for Virgos that a goal that you once had now seems somewhat out of reach. Don't worry too much about it. Things might change, but I think right now there's a little setback. So a goal that you want either seems out of reach or maybe you're no longer committed to a certain long-term goal. Maybe you wanna switch paths. Maybe you're no longer passionate about something and you're looking to explore a new life, a new mindset shift, a new passion. You need something new to be obsessed about. The hanging man, right side up. I have a feeling that there is a need to reach some enlightenment. I have a feeling that there is some blocking of spiritual and necessary like kind of messages. I have a feeling that your subconscious is trying to block spiritual messages that are, that are supposed to help you but would hurt you. I have a feeling that your point of view and perspective may be construed to the point where you do not know the whole truth of the situation, so do not make harsh judgments. I have a feeling it's time to now force yourself to gain a new perspective on life. We're going to go ahead and do that one more time. Ooh, we have all these wands. I have a feeling powerful, powerful, magnetic, passionate energy is coming through. I have a feeling someone's going to get a great idea and you're going to get a lot of energy and passion. I have a feeling once winter comes around, you'll be able to start a new, big, beautiful project. Ooh, we had something that tried to fall in my hand. We have the fool, lucky duck, lucky duck, the tower reversed, and ooh, the king of swords reversed. I have a feeling there's a sense of luck happening. I have a feeling someone is going to get very lucky and not know it just from just being very joyful and fruitful in themselves. I have a feeling that 
for air signs and earth signs, there's going to definitely be some chaos happening. I have a feeling that there is going to be a change in power. I have a feeling that when there's some maybe uh, some unlawful cycles that have been hurting you, they're going to be broken because now the things that have been disrupting and hurting you are now being torn down. The organizations, the systems, they're now starting to fail on you. And now the King of Swords reversed. That means someone with high Paul high power and knowledge is not being able to be come to the phone right now, I guess. I have a feeling that you are stuck on your thirst for knowledge, you're stuck thinking, you don't have an answer to a certain thing or situation that involves where the tower is going down. Let's do a final card. We have the Page of Pentacles. I think it's now time to start saving up, start doing a financial journey of sorts. I want someone to look and realize, oh, this hobby I have, it's profitable. I should do that. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles growing a garden, taking the one thing that is so good and making it so beautiful and fruitful. I have a feeling that Virgos, you want to be provided for. And I think Taurus is you want to be provided to for, but you also have to become a provider. I have a feeling that someone in your life is going to come in who's a provider and is going to give you safety, security, and abundance and grow a beautiful garden with you. And we also have the Three of Pentacles reversed. I have a feeling there's going to be a sense of loneliness happening. I have a feeling you're going to have trouble finding allies, finding help on certain things. And last card. Ooh, the Three of Swords. I have a feeling that you're going to be a heartbreaker. I have a feeling that there's going to be a promise that you are going to have to break due to something that is somewhat out of your control, probably to a lack of emotion. The world upside down. Obviously, it looks like it's time for you to look inwards before you start going to new destinations. You need to start creating a standard whole, a self-concept before you start going and exploring the new you when you do not know the roots that are growing for your beautiful, beautiful fruit tree. And I believe that's it. This, this, all of the things that you've been working for are coming now. You've collected so many things. All of it is coming. Now it's now just time for you to pick and choose what amazing project or opportunity waits for you that is profitable. I want you all to have an amazing day. All right, lots of love. Bless you.